I was talking about the principalities and how the region that God is going to send you into, the territory, the sphere of influence that God is going to send you into. I need you to hear me with your spiritual ears. There will be other surrounding principalities and they're going to try and mock you at the borders because any place that the Lord put the people of God, he set them by fresh water. That means on the other side of those waters, which was used as a boundaries, there was other principalities that wanted to get the people of God. And so to get them out of position, they will mock them and taunt them. But the Lord says he is going to cleanse them of that. Again, that's in chapter nine and we covered that, right? I would hit last year Bible study notes, but it's already too late, so I'm not. It says, the next generation shall be a witness. Meaning, those who are currently here with you, they will see it. As memorial stones left to witness, they will testify of what they've seen God do in your life. That's Joshua Bible study chapter four. We shall hear a sound, meaning a call, because the Lord said he will whistle and we will come running, we will gather. We will hear a sound, a call of the season, that freedom is here and no increase accompanies it. Come many, become numerous, to multiply, to grow, or to be or grow great, to make large, enlarge, increase, become many, your territory and what you're doing, to multiply, to increase, to make much to do, to increase greatly or exceedingly, to make great and large and do much. Abundance. We will hear the sound of the season that freedom is here and no increase accompanies it. We shall trample the principalities of the marine spirit, pass through these regions with no fear of this prince. This is the crossover that we talked about last year in December. 